All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have this new neck that I ordered off of eBay. So let's open this thing up and see what we got. All right, so it looks like they just stuffed it with <laughs> broken pieces of styrofoam here. Okay, obviously I would like this thing just packaged a lot better, but comes in here like this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so up here I got my Cannonball Vintage Reborn Polished Silver Neck. I got the neck that came with the horn here. This is the Dark Amber Lacquer. And here is the one from Eastern Music. This is a U.S. company. I think they're either out of California or Wisconsin, but this is made in China. So this costs $90. And this Cannonball one that I bought extra, I basically bought it to fit my small bore mouthpieces so that way i'd have an extra neck i wouldn't risk having to screw up the cork but i found that i really like being able to use this neck with my other mouthpieces because if i use it with those small bore mouthpieces now my other mouthpieces don't fit so i decided to get yet another neck save myself some money this time see what this company is all about and give it a shot so 90 bucks versus 400 dollars. so we got $400 versus $90. Now with me, the sound of the saxophone, the sound of the company that makes the saxophone is really in the neck. There's so much that you provide as a player, but then you got your mouthpieces, your reeds, ligatures, but the neck, that to me is really the brand sound. I would never buy a vintage saxophone that did not come with the original neck because that brand sound really is a lot, at least to me, to my ears, it really is in that neck. So getting something like this isn't really meant to be a replacement, but just meant to be an addition, especially because I have so many mouthpieces and whatnot. So there is a problem already, and this is too small. So I need to get this checked out. All right, so let's play these things and let's see what we got. Okay, I have some paper wedged in here. The only reason why I'm doing this with this neck is because I'm actually taking this off to my repair guy to have this thing fitted properly. Okay, but let's hear what it sounds like out of the box with some paper improvised here. I'm using an Autolink Supertone Master 7 Red Box Van Dorn 2.5 reeds. <laughs> free blowing thing to it it's freer than my regular cannonball neck both of them actually I have a silver and the uh the dark amber lacquer cannonball neck <laughs> this paper wedged in here this neck is actually pretty superb i checked the intonation and because this cork is too thick for this mouthpiece it is coming in a little bit flat but i'm gonna take all three necks this one and my two cannonball necks into my guy have them all fitted the same okay autolink supertone master 7 vintage reborn silver neck uh, Van Dorn, two and a half read. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's try the other one. Same mouthpiece, same read, same everything. One thing I'm noticing right off the bat, the angle is a little bit different, so I have to make a slight adjustment. <laughs> It's also a lot less resistant. This is a little bit challenging because this reed isn't really the reed that I would pick to play with this neck because it's, it's a little too free blowing from what I would expect from an auto link compared to the other neck. Okay. <laughs> Now for me, the neck is really just an extension of the mouthpiece. And with this neck, it sounds a little less like a cannonball saxophone. With the other necks, that's kind of the sound of cannonball. Really, it's the necks to me that really give an instrument its brand sound. So it's sounding a little bit less like a cannonball with this neck, but so far I am pretty impressed. Let me keep going this time. It's really got a different effect on the reed. I'm having to just place it a little bit different. I didn't think it would change that much going from one to the other. Okay. Okay, so let me sit back down. I'll give you guys some pros and some cons about this neck. All right. Obviously, I have merchandise, ladies and gentlemen, so you can pick up one of these piece of cake t-shirts if you like. But let's get to this neck here. So let me point out some cons before I get to the pros here. This is the original neck plug, but this is just too small. It was considerably small. This is the 27.5. And for most of these uh, necks that I saw on eBay, they were 27.5 or 28.2. Measuring my neck out, it's just shy of uh, 28. It's coming in at around 27.7. My first repair guy, he didn't really have the tools to be able to blow this thing out. The guy who taught him the craft, he felt uncomfortable expanding this so he just popped on a different one so that's something to take into consideration how much of an effect on the sound popping out this neck plug is actually going to have also take into consideration uh, maybe on your saxophone it just fits so on my cannonball vintage reborn this thing was a little too small even with the original plug here this thing didn't quite fit just right just this little emblem here and also you can see that this is a little bit crooked. The angle that it's going into my mouth is different from my Cannonball next, but if I were to get a different saxophone, that angle would be different anyway. The thing that I am most surprised by is how much less resistant this is. In reality, I would never use the reed that I used to play this on a gig. It was too it felt like the reed was too small. I probably have to go to a three, maybe even a three and a half, but this is going to wind up saving me a lot of money in the long run because I can start with a stiffer reed. Once it starts to get thin using this, then I can pop over my other neck and extend the life of that reed. I talked about this same kind of thing with getting a mouthpiece with two different facings, same mouthpiece, different facings. So 
Uh, that's about it for the cons with this. The plus is that for $90, this thing is really, really quite good. It's going to take me a little while to just fine tune where the little nuances is. But other than that, I'm actually very impressed with this. I decided to get another neck basically because of those small bore auto link mouthpieces that I have. But I'm kind of right back where I started. I thought this was going to kind of be something of a throwaway. I can just put those mouthpieces on. But now this is good enough for me to want to use regularly. So I'm probably going to wind up selling those small bore modern vintage auto link mouthpieces. Okay. That's all I got for you, ladies and gentlemen. I got some funk saxophone videos in the works. I also have some Chinese mouthpieces that I'm in the process of getting plated. And I'm even thinking about uploading, or I should say re-uploading, some of the ones that I took down because I have some more knowledge about that. So, all right, that's all I got for you. See ya!